All right, YouTube. So jumping into our base play formation. Thank you guys again for per or for checking out this ebook. Uh, we're going to be using the gun normal as our base formation from this offensive book. I've actually made a custom book so that we only have the plays that we need to go over in. Now, the first play is the drag under. Now, as you see, we have a post corner route on the left side. We have an in route. We have a drag route, a corner route, and then we can, what we're going to do with hot routes from this is very essential. We're going to place our running back on a wheel route. Now, what we're going to do first, I want to show you this against two men under. Two men under is always a popular defense because it's a, it's a very basic, uh, very easy defense to pick up and run. So against two men under, what you're going to see here is this wheel route absolutely will torch it for at least 10 yards a pop. Uh, so that's why the wheel route is our first read on this. Our second read uh, against two men under, actually, well, this is actually a snap read. Uh, so a snap read, we're going to look to left. If there is no zone out there, we're just going to throw that post corner route. I actually threw it wrong there. Let me show you here. Basically, what, what's going to happen here is this post corner route is going to get a ton of separation against man coverage. Let me run it one more time here, see if I can get it. You want to wait until he breaks to the outside and then throw it. No pass lead, just throw it, and see there, we're off to the races. Now, uh, the only time you will not throw that route is if they're in a zone cover. So here I'm on audible to a cover three. And what you're going to see is as soon as that zone flows out there, you can still get that in there. But I guess, you know, I, I, like, I like the safety of just – uh, automatically checking away but here's a cover four this is a scenario where that will be covered see throw it and it's just not a very good trajectory that you're gonna get so that is why I say the only throw that against man coverage so uh, in a situation where they're cover zero blitzing you see okay there's no zone just throw the post corner out now the next read on this play like I said you're gonna go you're gonna look to the corner out if it's if it's not there if they have some zone, if there's a zone flowing out to that then you're just gonna check and go to your halfback wheel route as your second read. Okay, and we already discussed how that crushes man coverage. Our next read on this play is an easy, easy progression into uh, so snap, look to the corner, then look to the wheel. Then we're going to look to the drag. So look, look. Okay, not there. So then we're going to look to our corner out on the right side of the field. Now the drag is usually going to open up against zone coverage. It's not a very good man coverage beating route, but against the zone, as we're going to show you here in the cover three. Look, look, okay, we can throw the drag. And see all that space it clears out. We essentially have a shallow cross concept over the middle of the field with triangle and circle here. So here we're going to show you against man again. Uh, look, look, not there, not there. But you see the in routes this year, they will be beating man coverage. So essentially we have four man beating routes and a couple zone beating routes in this one play. Here I'm going to audible to cover three and show you the shallow cross concept. Basically, you see how those zones come down on circle? We could have easily thrown that to triangle to, you know, beat the zone. And the, what I've seen is the cover four is, is usually going to give up uh, the drag. Cover three and cover two are usually going to give up the end route. Here, I'm going to show you out of a cover two. And you're going to see the end route's going to be wide open in the middle. Okay. So that's the basic principles of the drag under. Uh, it's, it's a very good play. And, and something that we're going to be using to establish uh, establish how we want to play offense, okay? And again, the reads are as follows. You're going to look to the post corner. So look to the post corner, and if, it's, if they're not flowing out there immediately, throw it, okay? If they are throwing out there immediately, then you're going to look back across the field to your running back. You can see here we're able to hit him, okay? If they are covering the running back, say they have a purple zone or a flat zone out there, or they're, they're doing something and, and it's not open. Then you're going to check into your third read, and it's going to be this drag route coming over the middle of the field. Okay, say they're in two men under or something, and they make some adjustments, and we know that two men under is going to take away the drag route. Well, your next read is going to be a corner route that beats the two men under. So you see how we're beating everything that we, our reads are beating what the other one doesn't. So our first read beats man, our second read, or our first read beats man and cover three, our second read beats man and cover four and cover uh cover four and two men under. Our third read beats cover four, cover two, cover three, and, but it doesn't beat man. Our third read beats, our fourth read beats man. This is kind of seeing what we're doing here. Now, the next play, uh, or the next read, the next read on this play is going to be the in route. And like I said, you know, the, that's going to be beating man coverage, and we have a high-low read in between those two routes. And then one final th final note here, against man coverage on that post corner, if we make a miss read, we still have that as a very, very late read, and you're going to really want to step up in the pocket, pass lead down to the inside, 
and you're going to have to click on because you see they get that inside position. But if you click on, you will have some success with that. And it's a very good zone beating route. It's not as good against man late. But they get the zone. Say you make a bad read. Okay, you see how it beats the cover four. And then we're going to show you right here. It's going to beat cover three as well. I think this is actually cover two. Step up in the pocket because you're going to need all that time. Pass it down into the inside. And you see it's just going to get under those deep blue zones. An opportunity for a nice coverage beating route if you make a poor read somewhere in your progressions. Never ever throw the ball at a covered receiver uh, unless I, unless you know it will be open. Like I said there, obviously you wouldn't throw that, but like what I'm trying to teach here is you just continue your read progression. Do not just throw, just don't decide pre-snap, okay, I'm going to R1, I'm going to R1, okay, okay, I got R1. All right, you don't want to do that because you, you want to go through your progressions, okay? So that's what I'm trying to say there. Now, moving on to the next play, we're already five minutes in. The next play is the quick pass audible. This is uh, the slants. This is one of the best plays in the game, and it's one of the most simple concepts. Now, we're actually going to cover four defensively, and you're going to see that uh, square should beat the cover four. See, they, they pull out, and it widens out. The, the way the slants works is it creates space for that underneath slant to beat cover four. So we're going to audible here to a cover three. Okay. Usually in cover three, the circle receiver should become open. Okay, he's open, cover three. Okay, now moving into two men under. Everything should be open against two men under. The slants are a really good beating round, a really good man beating round here. You see wide open against two men under. Okay, uh, moving on, cover zero blitz. I guess the cover zero blitz, most of the time, uh, every slant should be open. I would, my first read is always triangle, and then I progress to my other outside slants. And you see the inside slant is, is wide open against two man against the cover zero and then lastly against cover two this is probably one of the main reasons I run this play is because square is going to beat cover two every time see that the the, the flood of the middle and the, the that slant in behind the, the the double slant beats cover two and then the slant flat will beat your cover three so that's the that's the beauty of this play so basically what your read is on this as far as progressions is you're going to look right at triangle pre, uh, post snap, and if triangle does not get pressed, okay. So say they're in like, let's just use this as an example real quick. Say they zone blitz. So say they bring a blitz here, okay, and this will come in. Our concept: if triangle does not get pressed, you throw the ball to square every time, because what it does is it floods, it floods the field, okay. It's going to flood the, the basic thing, and all, the cool part about this is you have your halfback, your halfback's blocking, so you're going to have good protection. Now, if there are two men under, again, two men under, it, triangle won't get pressed. So, triangle doesn't get pressed. Okay, I know I can immediately throw that slant to, to uh, number eight there. Okay, so what if he does get pressed? If he gets pressed, this is the only scenario in which he will get pressed is cover three. So, he gets pressed. That means it's cover three. So, immediately, as soon as he gets pressed, you look to the other slant, and you see it comes open. So, that's the only read, and that's the beauty of this play. It's a very... This is a mix in play. This is not something you call a lot. This is something you want to call in a situation where you know they're not running coverage. The coverage D can somewhat lock up this play. But the beauty of it is it's such an easy read. It's such an easy progression. Here, cover four. Okay, he doesn't get pressed. Immediately throw to square. It's a very simple read progression. There's nothing they can do about it. The only thing that I've seen anybody be able to do about it is they put him in a spy. So they put their, their, their corners on the right uh, or on the outside in the spies. And you see how they come in on the slant, but they still don't cover it very well. And that's the point. You guys are going to be able to beat every coverage in the game with basically one or two route combinations. And that's the beauty of this. So again, don't get impressed, throw it in. And we can do this all day. Zone blitz, man blitz, it doesn't matter. Here I'm going to show you. Cover zero blitz. This is man blitz. Okay? I'm going to go to the, the quick slant. Doesn't get pressed, throw it to it. Okay, I'm gonna audible into a zone blitz, or I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna audible into uh, cover three, and I'm just gonna bring a send a blitz off the right, and I'm gonna zone up that side. So I'm gonna put a purple, and just so he doesn't get pressed for the purpose of this, uh, I'm gonna blitz the corner. Uh, I'm actually gonna send it off the left here. So blitz, blitz, and then I'm gonna put him in a purple zone. This is just simulating adjustments, guys. Something they may do to try to stop this. So I'm going to put it like this. Okay. 
Okay, quick slants. Doesn't get pressed. Throw a square. Wide open. Every single time, guys. Every single time. No coverage can stop that. None. Maximum coverage D is what they have to do. Okay? And, and let's show you something like that. So, what that would look like would be they go to cover two. They probably go to cover two. They probably put both linemen and purples. Maybe spy the dude here and, and, and put the middle linebacker in a deep blue zone. Okay? Now, let's show you this. So, essentially, it's the same read. Doesn't get pressed. Throw a square. It's still open. I mean... It's going to take a lot of adjustments to stop this play. That's why it's such a good mix and play. I don't run this as a base. This is a mix and play when I think they're blitzing or something like that. Because I have my, my, my running by plug. Moving on to the next play in this formation. We're kind of running out of time here. The deep pass audible is the uh, HB angle play. It's, I think it's, what it's, it's basically a Texas passing concept. And so the first read on this play is if they're, we're basically looking to the left. Now the only, thing, the only time we're not going to throw the route to the left, the fade, is if they're usering it. So if we see that their user player is on the other side of the field, all you have to do on this is snap, and I actually did a poor job there, of course. You want to wait till he cuts up field. Wait till he cuts, snap, and you want to just click on and make a user catch. You're going to ha have that almost every time. I'll show you it against uh, press coverage here, because a lot of people don't like fades against press coverage, but you're gonna, we're here we're going to show you it's unbumpable because it's a stock fade, and you just... Man, I, I freaking, my user skills are bad on this game still. But you user catch it, and what it is is it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, you, you click on and you, you go to 2 o'clock and then go back to like 12 o'clock. So click on like that. That's exactly the way it's supposed to look. And uh, it gets covered to buck. That's the only time that this route will get pressed. So what you're going to do is when you see that route gets pressed, you know it's covered to Pass lead it to the left, and you're going to see you're going to be beating the cover two zone for big, big yardage. Okay? And then one other coverage I want to show is against cover three. So cover three is going to really risk it. And there you see it. So that's the that's that, that part of the play. And the only time we, I mean, we'll be throwing that a lot. And they're going to be really adjusting to that. So what you'll see is a lot of this. You'll see flat. Whoops. You're going to see a flat route. You press it. You're going to see a purple route to delay the throw, and then you're going to see the shade coverage over the top. So basically bracketing that route, okay? And then now, they're, they're still in cover three, so that's not a bad not a, not a bad way to defend them. The cool part about this is, okay, that's not there, so we just checked out into the Texas concept. And the, the Texas concept is essentially a high-low read from the tight end to the back. So here, this is just cover four without any adjustments. And you're going to see your first read here is, is uh, oh wow, I was actually in the wrong play. Forgot I had to audible to the deep pass. Okay, so deep pass. And out of the Texas, your read is, you, you read high to low. So you go from your tight end to your running back. So that's not there. Okay, we read the Texas route. Okay, we see that the tight end seam pass is open. A lot of times that seam pass will be open. Uh, let's, let's show you it against man. Now, the, oh, you never want to throw to user player also. Uh, if they're usering that, don't throw it. But as you see here, you see the seam against man, uh, it's not as effective. So when you read man, again, it's high to low. If they have inside position on that streak, as you saw they had it there, then you're immediately, you immediately know you're not throwing that. So here, inside position, okay, I'm not throwing that. I just throw the ball to back, dump it down to my running back, and take a five-yard to seven-yard gain, okay? Once again here, I'm going to show you it now out of, out of uh, cover three. Okay, we read cover three. We have that inside position, or uh, we didn't have that inside position. We should have checked down to the running back. Uh, as you saw, that's the point, because in zone this year, they actually cover the seams. So you have to make you have to make a read now. If he has that inside position, you just check down. Okay? If for some reason, and here's a, an example of where he probably won't, is in cover four, what will happen, uh, no, normally in cover four, they'll jump the running back. So if they don't go deep, See, they don't go deep. I could just fit that in. So that's that's the kind of key read there. That's what you're basically reading the middle linebacker. Okay? And then the cool part about this play is if all of that's covered, and that's a lot to cover in one play, we have this user catch comeback route. So not there. Okay, not there. Okay, we got the comeback route. And actually, that was a poor, poor read. Or poor, poor timing. You have to time these comeback routes. And uh, I'm going to have that in, in another section of the ebook, How to Throw Comebacks. But basically... You're going to throw it about at the 20-yard line. So 
20 yard line and you're just going to come underneath you're going to do the same thing you did on the fade but it's a little bit harder on the comeback routes this year because the computer you don't want you do not want the computer to take control you had to take control that's important there it is. That's it. that's what you're looking for to get him to go up big. Sometimes he'll drop it. Sometimes I'll be honest. Sometimes he'll drop it, and, and, and it's a lot easier to defend the comebacks in zone than it is in man. But you're gonna see. You guys are really gonna. It's gonna be very difficult for them to stop that and everything else you're doing in this play. Uh, they're really gonna have to use their. Uh, it's very difficult to stop the play, guys. Uh, against man coverage, the comeback routes are absolute money, and you could always. I mean, if you always. I mean, if if, if you just want to throw the comeback the way you throw normal comebacks. That's perfectly fine. The purples will get out there, though. That's it. That's my warning. See, let's see how they get out there. So you don't want, you definitely don't want to throw it if it's a purple. But against man, it's open. Against cover three, it'll be open, and against cover two, it should be open. But you see, that's how it beats against man. You just wait for him to come back. So any man coverage, it'll be. Uh, let's show you it against cover three here real quick. This is the last read on the play. So look left, look right, look middle. Okay, now throw your comeback, and you see. If there's no flat zone, though, the comeback won't be open. So it's primarily a, a, a man read, but if it's against zone, you need to be clicking on and user catching that, okay? So that does it for this play. The last two plays we got coming up here. And this is our running play, so we're going to quick up a dead to run. This is actually called the inside zone. And all that's going to happen here is you're going to see you're going to get that double team over the center, and you're just going to come. Uh, it's basically just a zone read run from the shotgun. So essentially, you want to. I usually slide my line to the left here and run it like a power run. And it's, it's basically just an off tackle or a stretch from shotgun. Essentially what we're getting here. So we can cut it anywhere we want. We can come back right and run it like a counter. We can go middle and run it like a dive. We can go left and run it like a power O. Uh, just a lot you can do with this run. You only want to run this when you have numbers. And that's one of the things that is, is key on this offense is we're taking our, our check downs. So here you're going to see you have six, uh, six blockers because you have your tight end. They have six, um, they have six uh, defensive players in the box. So you're just going to check down to your run, and you just take that. And then there'll be situations like this right here where they'll show blitz, so they're, they're trying to stop the run now, and that's you're going to see it's not as easy of a – it's a still a good run, but it's not as big play potential as we would like it to be. So what I like to do is this leads me to my next play, is I'm going to go to my play action on. Well, my play action on, I've actually selected the play action FL screen. And now what's going to happen out of this is you can throw the wide receiver screen, I mean, it's not too bad, but it's, there's no real blockers at all. Okay, so that's that's pretty much what that, – that's about all with that. But what you can do now, this is cool, is you can place your running back on a swing route to the right. Okay, and now with the new hot routes, we can put our tight end on a flat, and we can um, put our receiver on a comeback. So now he gets unpressed, and he gets that little cut to the outside. And then we can bring a drag route across the middle of the field with wide receiver number four, our triangle, our slot. And then uh, lastly, I like to put a deep in route, deep uh, smart routed in route to to that side there to basically create um, uh, a high low read. But the first read on this, you're gonna see you just they let that dude come free at you, and that's so cool because they just get out there and block for the running back. It's just a very quick read, uh, and this is actually a lot of times I run this the first play of every game, and uh, usually like on second and three and stuff because it's one of those plays that they can't really stop. And there's not a whole lot to it. It's just, a, it's just a very good play, and it's just a dump off to the back. That's all it is. And it's like, yeah, two yards, two, three yards, that's fine. But, you know, in a situation like this where they may be blitzing a lot of people, uh, here I'm going to audible to a cover zero blitz to show you kind of the, some of the potential of this play. Okay, they're blitzing. They're blitzing. You let the blitz come off the edge. Now you got a blocker out there for you. And, and that's some, you know, you don't always have to put the tight end on fire. You see he... Uh, if you see by the play art, he actually goes out there anyway, but he doesn't get out there as far. That's why I put him on that route. You could always put uh, your wide receiver on a, a zig, and see now we get that get that block to the edge there. We have a shot at getting that block, and that's kind of what I want to you know what I want to do with this play is it's not a play designed to get a lot of yards. It's it's a play designed to essentially just okay snap. I know where I'm going here, and then it's a one on one with the corner, and you just leave it at that, and you use your stick. So. Anyways, that's the that's the base formation from this ebook. Uh, I think I think it's pretty good. I think it's a very good uh, formation. A lot you can do with it. Let's talk real quick about something else. Uh, I love to create curl flats from the deep pass audibles. So basically, what you're going to do here is you're just going to place your tight end on a flat route, and then you're going to put both receivers on smart routed out routes. And now look at that curl flats. That's right. And against zone coverage, you just make your read, 
And if they they go with the they go with the out route, you throw the triangle route. And then in man coverage, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this play, but uh, again, man coverage here, out routes are still crushing man coverage. Also, another thing you can do this year that you couldn't do last year uh, is you can really run your whole route tree against man coverage. Uh, so here we're going to go put them on a curl. Uh, we've got the curl flat set up. Whoops, uh, forgot to hot route the tight end. So now curl flats, put them on a curl. And you see, you get that nice animation, BD man coverage. And then another thing you could do, okay, we're going to put them on a smart routed in route now. Uh, a, a hot route we weren't used to seeing last year. So there's your read, okay, go against man coverage. You're going to see that these in routes beat man this year, passing them. Uh, whoops, you got to wait for them a little bit, though. They do take some time, uh, which is why they're one of the – they're better against zone. I will go ahead and say that. But they are still – uh, they're still very effective against man coverage, and, and uh, more so the slot in routes, but as a later read. So, like, if you read your running back first here, um, what you're going to see is these in routes. I'm going to step up in the pocket right about right there. Uh, they get that separation. So, anyways, guys, that's about it. And, oh, and one other thing here. You can also put your uh, receivers on comebacks. Look at that. So, now we have user catch options and man beating route automatic and zone beaters because it's car flats. So just a, a, a ton of stuff that they're going to have to deal with in, in, in this doubles. Uh, we're actually going to show you some more stuff out of that you could do from doubles in our single back doubles breakdown. So once again, thanks for checking out the ebook, guys. This, is, this has been the base formation, and we'll see you right back in a second here with the next formation. Thanks, guys.